that's my channel. I don't know what I'm doing with that. I just thought it'd be kind of like a cute little curtain drop moment there. Um, but since I'm filming in this um, quote unquote new location, not really new because I filmed videos in here before, but I'm trying to find like the right like place to put my iPad and the right lighting and everything. It is getting darker, but I think this is probably the best location that I can film this quick, hopefully quick video today. Um, I've been searching for this bag like all week. Um, I went to three different places because Vera is having a phenomenal sale right now. Plus they've been sending out so many coupons. So coupled with um, a retired pattern discount and another discount stacked on top of that and coupons and v VB cash stacked on top of it, I had to take advantage of some of the great sales this past weekend. Um, and since I did get all of my Christmas shopping done, I've, I've shopped for basically everybody um, but my boyfriend. He's the uh, last person that I, I do have to shop for. Um, and we decided that, you know, I tell him every year, like, you don't need to get me anything. I don't, you know, necessarily need anything. Um, if anything, I'm a big lover of food. So, I mean, if you want to buy me food sometime, that's great. But um, I usually tell people that I don't need anything. So we decided that we're just gonna get our each other one thing. Um, and I think we decided that last year too, but he broke his promise and I broke mine. So hopefully we'll stick to it this year. Um, I know I'm getting off on a little tangent, but um, I do wanna, you know, just kind of explain that these are kind of Christmas gifts to myself. And I know I, it looks like I splurge on Vera a lot, but I, I never, and this kind of goes with all aspects of my life. I never buy anything full retail. I always shop sales. I shop thrift. I shop secondhand. Um, so I would not have gotten these bags at full price. Um, but I'm really excited that I found them at such a deep, deep discount with coupons attached to it that I, I just couldn't resist. So the first one that I, I just want to kind of show you, because this one I I went out and got like literally a half hour ago on my lunch break from work at the local Dillard's. And I, I've been back and forth about this bag for like a week. So I finally um, decided to get the, um, it was called Iconic, but it's no longer carrying the Iconic name tag. So it is just the Small Vera in the pattern Moonlight Garden. And I just wanna go out and say, if I call this pattern by the wrong name, I apologize. It's called Moonlight Garden, but I have realized I've called it so many other things. I've called it Midnight Blues, which is an actual pattern that's retired years ago. I've called it Midnight Wildflower. I've called it Moonlight Wildflower. I've called it Moonlight Blues. It's Moonlight Garden. So I apologize if I call it by the wrong name several times, I will try to correct myself. Um, but if I don't, it's Moonlight Garden. Um, so this is the small Vera. The reason why I have been going back and forth about trying the bag style is I, I just never really paid attention to it in the store. And you know, now I saw it on the uh, shelf, the, the sales shelf at Dillard's and there were two of these. And I saw this first like a couple of days ago and I, I, I didn't even pick it up because I mean, I saw the trim and I was like, oh, what is that? And I kind of lifted, um, a Glenna satchel off of it and just peeked at it and then I just put it back because my real hunt that day was what I'm going to show you next so I just I didn't really pay too much attention to it and then I went back to Dillard's again just to walk around because sometimes um very rarely do I leave on my lunch break when I'm working for home usually I just like eat through or I mean work through my lunch break um I, can, I guess I could eat through my lunch break too um but typically I just stay at my apartment and just get work done but the past couple of times I have just taken a trip down to Dillard just to get out of my apartment because um for you remote workers out there you know that I, I appreciate working from home I love working from home um there are some pluses and minuses that come with remote working but uh, one of the biggest minuses is you start to feel lonely <laughs> um and uh kind of cramped or you know stuff you feel like you're you know you haven't left the apartment in days and um, I'm sure my cats get tired of seeing me too 
So the past couple of work days, I've just taken a quick trip down to Dillard's, which is like 15 minutes away from where I live, just to look. And usually nothing's changed, but since Fear has been having this um, big holiday sale, I decided, you know, last week would have been a good time. So anyway, that's kind of when I, I first glanced at this. And then I did it again um, for another lunch break. And then today I was just sitting there and I could at my desk and I could not stop thinking about this. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. So I started looking on YouTube and looking at other reviews and like what's in my bags and all that stuff. And I just started to fall for it. But I just wasn't sure if it'd be the right size for me personally. Because I, I am a tote person, but typically totes are just so big that I use them really rarely. I'm more of a backpack person than like a large tote person. So I was like, if this is too big for me, chances are I'm not going to even use it. But I decided to go back and look at the two that um, Dillard's had. And I instantly noticed this one had much better pattern placement than the other one that was there. I'll tell you why. Uh, for me personally, this flower is my favorite part of the pattern. There are other sprays of, and clusters of flowers, like you get a little bit of that cluster here and here. Um, the other bag did not have that like cluster of really colorful flowers, but as soon as I saw this one with the um, spots of lavender flowers, I was sold and I picked it up right away. Um, and then you get that, this is my other favorite flower with the big leaf, you get that on the back too. Um, and this is a very teal dominant pattern. Um, and I just, I absolutely love the color teal and the, the different ways they play with the blues and the oranges and the lavenders and the yellows and even there's lime greens in here as well. Um, I'm sorry, I kind of I'm like going off on different tangents, but, um, and then the, the third time that I went back to Dillard's, which is today, I thought maybe they sold these and there was one stacked underneath a Glenna satchel in a different spot this time. And then the other one was on a the bottom shelf underneath uh, a backpack. It was like a day, I think it's called like the lighten up day tripper or something. Um, it was underneath that. And this is, that's the one I ended up grabbing. Um, I just, oh my gosh, I love the border trim. That's another reason why I was attracted to this bag because this is one of the very few Vera Bradley styles that you can get that showcase um, the border trim like nice and big. So that's uh, one of the reasons why I grabbed it. And it uh, to me, it's like a tote shoulder bag combined. So it has the look of a tote, but the size of a shoulder bag. So I think for me, I can make this like work for me as an everyday bag very, very easily. Because like I said, I'm not like I'm not the person that can carry like a regular large Vera tote every day. Um, while I wish I could, I just, I can't fill it up. I just don't have enough like stuff that I carry with me all the time, unless I carry my laptop, which I do um, occasionally, you know, if I'm just like going out and I need my laptop, you know, the Vera would work for me. Um, but I think this one, this size will be better for me personally. Um, I will go over the features real quick. Like I said, I just got this today. I haven't loaded it up with my stuff yet. I haven't carried it anywhere yet. So I'm not going to re review it in depth or like talk about it too much because the real star of the show is off here to the right and I'm already 10 minutes into this video without having brought it in. So um, it does have the rubberish or faux leather nameplate on the front. You've got that hard zipper for the first pocket, which honestly I'm getting used to these. I know Vera is not it seems like they're walking away from using the style zipper, but it's not a complete deal breaker for me anymore like it used to be. I'm starting to get more used to it. Um, and I noticed the way the in, the um, interior cloth is, like my hand's not really scratching on the zipper when I'm pulling in and out, so that's great. So you do have that pocket and another pocket layered on top. There are no pockets on the back. You have a little bit of a recessed zipper goes across the top and you've got six interior slip pockets and may I say the interior pattern of this is mm, it's so pretty I love it love it love it love it because you have little fireflies scattered throughout the dark midnight pattern in there which is so cute um, I might have said in one of my um, recent videos that this pattern wasn't my favorite 
and that's because I was comparing it to Midnight Blues and I had not seen it in person at the time, I don't think. Um, while this, I, this pattern I think is comparable to Midnight Blues and re reminded me of Midnight Blues, it's its own thing. And I do have a, um, a Midnight Blues item in my bag today that I can compare it to. It's a small item, but you could see, like if I put it up to my favorite flower there, the colors are almost, you know, very similar. So, it, I mean, it does remind me of Midnight Blues, but I, this is its own pattern and I, I still really, really like it. Um, oh, it also has a hidden pocket at the top where you can slip your phone. I have the iPhone 10 and it fits in there very nicely. There's no magnet or anything like that. It just kind of closes on its own and conceals your phone really well. I am all for um, like hidden pockets and stuff. I love when bags have like extra pockets layered around it. So that was a, a big plus to me when I picked it up in the store today. Um, and I just want to tell you real quick about this. Uh, they almost didn't give me the extra 30% off because it's doubled today. Yesterday was actually the last day of the sale, but Vera extended it one more day. Dillard's did not. They said they took all the signs down. That they were not going to extend it. The the lady at the desk told me, and I said I said, well, on the Vera Bradley website today, they extend they extended the sale. Are you willing to honor that? So she walked away, went to look for her manager. Couldn't find her manager. She called her, and the manager said, well, if she can prove it, you know, give her the extra discount. And she's like, do you have any way to prove it? And I'm like, sure. And I searched up the Vera Bradley website on my phone and I showed her that they, it said extent, extended sale or extended another day or something like that. And she's like, okay, I'll give you the, the extra 30% off. And she's like, I'm sorry to kind of hassle you about that, but you know, it's just store policy. And she's like, I don't want to deny you a sale or anything, but I did have to check. It's part of my job. And I'm like, oh, that's like, I worked in retail. I totally get it. So I wasn't mad or anything like that, but I'm, I'm glad that they were willing to give me a chance to get this at the extremely discounted price instead of just the, the one layer discount. So yeah, I am really excited to use this. So I'm sorry I wasted, well not wasted, but I spent like 13 minutes talking about um, that, but I, I was really excited about it. And I, like I said, I just got it today. So I did want to show it to you, but the real star of the show that took me um, going to three different stores to find because every other store, the Dillard's that I was just talking about, um, and occasionally yours retailer, that's it, in the same area as the Dillard's. It was sold out there. And then finally I went to a Vera Bradley store, which it's in Cincinnati. Um, so I, it's a little bit farther away. I mean, I live like less than 30 minutes from like downtown Cincinnati, but I do have like Vera Bradley retailers around me, so I thought I would try this first. Um, but I finally found it at the Vera store, and it is the Mini Carson in the pattern Moonlight Garden. I had to think about it for a minute. Um, I just, for some reason, I really wanted to try this bag, and so this was the last one they had. My favorite flower is cut off in that pattern, but it's okay because I just really wanted to try it. I, I didn't even care about pattern placement on this one because I I just really wanted it. And I still got that flower right there and part of it right there too. So I just wanted to kind of do a really quick review on this one. Um, so it's basically like the regular Carson, but it's sized down a little bit, which this one is more my speed, more my size. I can get everything that was in my Hadley crossbody, you know, my beloved Hadley that I have shown on my channel a few times now, inside this bag with room to spare, if you can believe it. It's basically the same um, uh, length, I guess, at the bottom as my Hadley and the same um, like depth, but it's just shorter than my Hadley crossbody. So that's the only difference and it has more organization. So um, you do have the magnetic snap flap. Oh my gosh, I love the firefly, so cute. There's a really good look at it right there. Um, my cats are fighting. Kitties? I'm sorry about that. Um, but you do have the magnetic snap here, which it's nice because 
Unlike the regular Carson, this one doesn't have that big faux leather piece. It is lined in faux leather, as you can see, but I feel like it's very easy to take off and on the snap, unlike the bigger Carson. Um, so that is just a like one big slip pocket, and I'll show you what I have in here, which is all my usual stuff. I've got two bottles of lotion, my chapstick, my hand sanitizer, and my nail file and nail clippers are down there too. So you can kind of see what that all looks like in there. Fits really nicely and snaps closed. Um, it does have an adjustable strap, which I will try it on for you. I have it set to crossbody. And then on the back, one of my favorite features is just like the regular Carson, it has a big slip pocket with a hidden magnet, if you can hear. And in there, I do have my car keys and house keys, but also my phone fits back there really easily and the magnet still finds its home, which I loved, like that was my biggest test. Um, we do have the removable, um, you can remove the strap off if you wanted to and put it on like a different strap from a different bag. Um, that is part of like the Carson line. That's their like little unique thing. Um, you do have the hard zipper with this pattern because um, Moonlight Garden is a relatively new pattern. Well, it's, re it's retired now, which is why I got a good sale price on it. But um, this is when they are, we're using the hard zippers. So as you can see, it does get a little bit stuck there. Um, but generally, I haven't been having any problems with it. Sometimes it does. That's part of the hard zipper, but I'm over it. I've decided I can't, I can't diss a good pattern if it has a hard, you know, because I, I kept looking at the Beer Bradley website because I, I was wanting something in, the, in this pattern that was a good everyday bag. And I, I've been passing up on this bag for a long time because of the hard zipper even though they have it now in Foxwood and the Deep Night Paisley with the softer zippers. Deep Night Paisley is not speaking to me. Um, I hope that changes over time. Maybe if it goes on sale, maybe my heart will change. Um, but of course I love Foxwood, but every single one of these Carson Minis that I've seen in Foxwood has terrible pattern placement. I've not found one with a fox or if it does have like a, a, um, a chipmunk or a rabbit, they're cut off or in weird places. So I will not get one of these in Foxwood unless it has, honestly, I'm gonna be this picky, unless it has a fox on the front somewhere. Um, because I, I do love Foxwood, but I, I'm i gonna say this, I, I love it. You know how much I love Foxwood, but I think I am kind of done with Foxwood for now, un unless I find a really good pattern placement I can't say no to. I've just learned that it's fresh. It is a little bit frustrating to like go in the store or order something online, which I've had really good luck, you know, with my iconic XL backpack. I got a fox front and center. Um, on my bright crossbody, I did get a fox on the back, but like some items, like I go in the store and I looked at all of the, for example, the, all the small Vera's. They had three of them in Dillard today. Not one of them had a fox. So it's just kind of, it's just, it can be a little frustrating. And so with a bag like this, I'm not gonna get it in Foxwood unless it has a fox on it. And honestly, I'm fine with Moonlight Garden. I love it. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this one. I have no interest in even switching to anything else yet because I just love this pattern now. It's got lots of just beautiful teals and um, I just love it. So let's get back inside of here. Um, we've got a big zipper pocket on the back with a metal zipper. You've got your nylon Vera Bradley nameplate. The inside is not nylon, it's some kind of cottonish blend. I can't describe exactly what it is, but it's really nice and it feels durable. Um, and then you've got two slip pockets. Um, one I've got my sunglasses and two pens in. The other I've got my headphones, you can see right here, and my gum. I won't take everything out of the zipper pocket because if you have watched my other videos, you've probably seen all this stuff before. I'll try to get you in there the best I can. I mean, you can see the feminine products, my hair pick, some papers and band-aids. Um, so basically just personal items that you would keep in a zipper pocket. Um, and then you can just kind of see inside the bag what I've got and how much more room there is. Like I could put so much more stuff in here. I did not have to downsize or take anything extra out of my Hadley crossbody to jump into this bag. Every single thing that I had in my Hadley 
went straight into here with no problem, which I was shocked, but really excited. So I'll just show you real quick some of the main items. I've got tissues, um, my scrunchie. I think I had another scrunchie around here somewhere. Um, oh, I did take this out. This is my travel pill case. Let me just go ahead and put that where I had it so you can see what it looks like in there. Um, you can see my deodorant pod down there. And then I've got my little slip case with my um, iPhone charger and then my wallet, which I was using. I did pick this up with this bag because at the Vera Bradley store, this was the last Zip ID case in Moonlight Garden and this was the last Carson Mini. So I did grab this one and I really like the placement and the colors because I, I love that big teal flower. Um, so I did grab it. You can see a little part of a firefly in there, so that's really great too. I mean, I would even like if they made a bag with that interior pattern. It's so cute. Um, so the ID case that I am using, which I just switched to this one last evening because I went to download yesterday too. And of course they're still having the sale on top of a sale and I had a coupon. So I ended up getting the, um, zip ID and I saw that this was the only one that they had left and it had a fox on it. You can see the upper half of his body and his head. Of course the lower half's cut off, but I don't care. There's a fox on it. It's a small item with a fox and it's my favorite Vera Bradley item of all time, the zip ID case. So I had to have it. So cute. So cute. So that's the one I'm using. Like I said, I just switched to it last night. I was um, in this one all weekend and Friday as well. So yeah, that's the Carson Mini. I'm really excited. I love this bag. I've already gotten a compliment on it. Um, so I'm, I'm excited. I can't remember what they said. They said that they liked the bag and I said that I got it from Dillard's and they asked what pattern it was in. And I am 90% sure I said Midnight Blues and I didn't realize it until five minutes later that I gave them the wrong pattern name. That's what I mean. I, I've been good about calling it Moonlight Garden in this video because I like said it over and over and over in my head and out loud before I started filming because I've just been calling it the wrong names. So, um, anyway, here it is on crossbody on me, 5'2", 130 pounds. It fits really good. It's really lightweight. I carried it Friday all the way through to today. And I have no intention of changing out of it unless I do jump into the um, small Vera just to kind of see how it carries. So that's what that looks like on me. I just love the colors in this bag. This pattern. I love the colors in this pattern. And let's do shoulder bag here. Just adjust the strap real quick. Really easy to adjust. Strap is really durable and soft. It's not stiff at all, which is really nice. And that's where it falls on me, shoulder bag. Really nice place. I love it. I just love it. I like the mini Carson so much that I would get it. I think I'm I don't know if charcoal medallion's ever gonna go on sale, but if that goes on sale, um, like sale sale, I will get it in charcoal medallion. But right now I'm happy with um, Moonlight Garden. Um, I feel like there's one more thing that I wanted to say. I guess I didn't show you the bottom. Look how wide the bottom is. Um, and I definitely feel like, I just did a video on the bright crossbody last week. I feel like I, I do like this one better because it's more organized, there's more pockets. And I'm a pockets person, I'm a pocket queen. I love when my bags have extra organization in them. So I do like this better. And I feel like me person personally, I can get more in this because it just has more depth and just a bigger, wider bottom. Just more, there's more room, more pockets to put stuff, more organization, which means a lot to me. Um, so not that I don't like the bright crossbody, but this is more my style. Um, I feel like there's one more thing that I, I wanted to mention about this bag, but I can't think of it. Hmm. 
I know somebody did ask, because I, I posted a picture in Buzz the other day, and they, they did ask me to do a video on this bag. I don't think she asked me anything specific, though. And I, I apologize, I can't remember her name off the top of my head. Um, but I think she just asked if I could film a video on it. And I think I, I pretty much hit all the features. There is, of course, the Vera Bradley faux leather nameplate on the front. I've toyed with taking that off on many different bags, especially this one, I don't know. But it's not that bad. It blends in pretty well. So, yeah. So that has been the mini Carson shoulder bag in the pattern Moonlight Garden. Great, great, great bag. Lovely pattern, I'm obsessed with this pattern. Um, great prices right now. Today's the last day of the sale. Um, so this is re retired, so you can get this for 30% off, but today is the last day of the holiday sale. So if they're stacking another 30% on top of this sale, and plus, if you have any more of those coupons, you could use that too. I'm not like in endorsing anything or telling you to go buy it. I'm just saying today's the last day of the sale in case you've had your eye on something and you, you want to just go for it. That's an option. So thank you for watching. I hope we'll be back soon.